Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play Sega Game Gear games on your classic system. First thing you have to do is make sure that your system is hacked. I will leave my hacking tutorial video in my description for you. So once you've hacked your system, first thing we need to do is go to modules and to the Hack G Mod store. You want to go to the RetroArch tab and download the newest RetroArch Neo 1.7.3b if you haven't already. Then you're going to go to the RetroArch Cores tab. So just like the Master System and Genesis games, there are two cores available to you. One is Genesis Plus GX and the other one is Pico Drive. So right here we have Genesis Plus GX. All you have to do is hit the button right here that says Download Module and that will download the core to your Hackchi program. Same thing for the Pico Drive core. You hit the Download Module button and download it to your program. Just hit the X to close out the window, go back to the Modules tab and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to RetroArch Neo if you haven't installed that already and then the Genesis Plus GX core or Pico Drive core. Then you're going to hit the OK button. After they've been installed to your system, hit the Add More Games button here and navigate to the folder where your Game Gear games are. We're going to check out Dragon Crystal and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I have played Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on Game Gear once a long time ago. I never owned a Game Gear personally. Never played Dragon Crystal, but we're going to check these games out. So you're going to highlight them, hit the open button, and they'll be added to the top of your list in Hack G. You'll see here the command line is already changed for you, so you don't have to edit anything there. We are going to hit the Google button to get some box art for these games. So here's Dragon Crystal. Uh, looks like this is what we're going with in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. The last step is to hit this synchronized button right here. That's going to transfer those games from your PC to your classic system. So let's go over there, take a look at these Game Gear games. So let's take a look at Sonic the Hedgehog 2 first. There you go, Sega. It's funny, even though I barely played this game, I still remember a lot about it. Like this, the underground zone and the music unplugged. I remember this music. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Sega games. But it sounds good to me and... Oh, I thought that was bad. Oh, look, there's a secret. We found a Game Gear secret already and we made it. Awesome rings, great. But I don't see any audio or visual stuttering, nothing like that. And I remember, not there, there's another one where it really messes with you. That's why I'm not a huge fan of Sonic games because it doesn't give you a lot to work with in terms of seeing where you're going. But we're still making progress. We're getting through the stage. Oh, there we go. Okay, can we bounce this or anything? Ah, uh, who knows. And now Dragon Crystal. I know nothing about this game except it was one of the higher rated games I found on a website, so let's see. Okay, crystal ball, a, a young man into the crystal ball. What is that behind me? Am I carrying a bag? We have a dagger, a robe, we attack the slime. I guess we attack the slime. How about some money? Can I grab the money? Yeah. Got some food too, okay. I like how the tree is magically... Oh, it's one of those games where you have to walk around to uh oh this is weird this is different this is old school rpg games here we have to walk around to open everything up that crystal is dangerous oh it shot me in the face can i can you turn okay we're just i'm dizzy now it's controlling where i go i can't even walk straight this crystal is killing me i can't go on i was killed by a flame bar oh it seems like it's random every time too wow this was Interesting, did a lot of games do this back then? Especially on the Game Gear. Very interesting. There you have it, Game Gear games on your classic system running really good with either of those two cores. Make sure you keep coming back. I'm gonna have a lot more things to show you what you can do with your system. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you wanna contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out, and if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.